What's going on guys, it's Shane here, welcome to my first uh, episode of the Hot Seat Save, it is with me now, From I'm third in the list, so if you haven't seen the others, you might want to take a look at the Kigman Save, and then straight off to him it was Carl X, you can take a look at their saves and see how they all went. Um, as you can see here on the screen, we played quite a few friendlies. I mean, we played a lot of friendlies to try and get a little bit of finance in that. Um, this was Kegman's save from here to here. So Kegman got us promoted. Uh, Kyle finished in at ninth place, if you watch that. So if you didn't and you want to see how these guys did and their saves, please go through and take a look. Um, this is my starting, <coughs> starting lineup. A few decent players. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be going through a little bit, show you guys what's been going on in the and all that, so you can take a look. So, transfers. Transfer history, I was very busy in the transfer history, as you can see. These are all my new signings that I brought into the club. A lot of them are backup players, which is what we've been looking for. And then I've got three, one which I sent out on was a free didn't really need him anymore, so I got rid of him. Um, he was almost uh, on a, uh, you can say, retirement, so we got rid of him. The next two were just two lonelies out, so they will be back. But uh, someone that I got in that's worth mentioning, um, maybe you guys should take a look, is Gabriel Barbosa. For a youngster of only 21, he's done pretty well. You know, he's got first touch of 18, finishing of 12. Dribbling of 15, he's played nine games, he's scored four goals, he's got two player of the match, and it's in the friendly, and he's on an average of 705, so that's not bad. And he's played two cup games, he got two appearances, one goal, and a 750 um, rating, so that's not bad at all. And yeah, he's just his, his stats are phenomenal. The only thing is, determination and decisions are quite low, and uh, heading is low, but we don't really count on him for heading. Um, he's more just of a striker type thing without headering so yeah we use him as a um, pressing forward but uh, we got quite a few guys here um, Lucas Rex is also a decent full, um, <coughs> central defender he's averaging at about a 7 so it's not too bad for the friendlies and that's and you can see he's fairly well suited for this position um, We've got quite a few people. Heverton, who's come in on a free as well, is in a, quite a few in the blue, but he's he's been playing all right as well. At 6.87, that's not bad at all. So he's going to be starting the first game of the season. Um, we're going to go take a look at our tactics. We've changed tactics compared to the other guys. Uh, I've kept a lot of guys the same. Um, Picancho is our starting in at our right inside floor forward, and uh, He's, he's okay. He's not the best, but he's been alright. He's played seven games, got two goals, um, zero assists, but he's on a 7.13 rating, so that's why we're keeping him in the side for now. And he's his vice captain as well. Gabriel Barbosa is starting in our <coughs> um, pressing forward, and uh, you've really seen his stats, and he's not too bad at all. And we got uh, Pires here who's wanted we've actually put him on for a, a sale he's looking at going to sporting we he's looking at about two hundred thirty thousand. but i've actually never played him as you can see i've only played him three games his average is 8.1 and he's got two goals one assist so we've delayed his transfer a little bit just to take a look and see how he goes through with the first two or three league games and if he's he's decent then we're going to cancel the transfer we keep him until maybe the second transfer and then we'll probably sell him out from there and we got a youngster here 23 year old monkey who came in from last season 7.47 average um he's got nine appearances four goals so yeah he's pretty decent he's got some great stats as well obviously not a complete round player um his mental could have been better, his aerial could have been a little bit better, but yeah, he's he's not too bad. At, at the moment, he's playing okay, and we got him in, in at a central midfielder. And then we got Kiko, who's on his right-hand side. Kiko is a, yeah, he's a decent player, he's pretty rounded off. And uh, 7.13, he's nine games, two goals, two assists, so 
yeah, he's also going to be starting for this round. Citic <coughs> also came in from last season. He's played 5-5 five, five and on 6.87. Um, he's fairly decent as well, and uh, we're going to keep him in for this position as well for the first few games. Hernandez, who came in with Kyle as well. Uh, he's played three games, uh, two off the bench, one goal, 7.56, and we're keeping him because he's got a link with Perez, so hopefully he can do some stuff. Pedro Marquez, so he's a little bit older, <coughs> he's 22 years old, we've used him one game, he's got 6.9, he's brand new signing, but all his stats are phenomenal, he's in the yellow throughout, so we're quite happy about that, and he's a pretty rounded player, the only thing that's slacking a little bit is he's attacking, but he's not an attacking player, so we're happy to keep him in that position. <coughs> Igor Kartek, so... I uh, don't know how to say his name, so I'm probably butchering it. He's played uh, four games, six off the bench. He's averaging at 6.94, so it's not bad. He's also a pretty rounded player, so we can have him in at our right-hand side defense. Heverton, who we've already lo had a look at, um, he's played eight games in total, 6.87. is not so great, but uh, we're going to keep him there. And then Raphael, who we've brought in four games, one conceded one, three clean sheets, 7.7, .7, phenomenal stopping power, and uh, yeah, he's, he's just, his vision, and that is sublime, you know, it's, uh, it's really good, so, so far we've been doing okay with him, his replacement would probably be Krosta, Krosta's played five games, four appearances, three clean sheets, um, four conceded, sorry, three clean sheets, also is not a bad youngster, uh, he's 22 years old, but um, yeah, the Raphael is a little bit better, so we're going to go with him. And if uh, Harverton doesn't succeed, as you can see, we got the couple of people in that can play in his position. Um, quite a few guys around. So, yeah, they, they're also not doing too bad. I think the only one really to speak of for such is uh, Hernandez on the other side. Yeah? He's a winger advanced forward, inside forward, so he can play multiple positions there. He's played six games, he's got one goal, he's averaging 6.75, but as you can see, his positioning is not the best. Um, then we've got uh, a couple of guys in here, which we're going to be using. David Tillers, who's also a new guy I signed this year. He's played three games, uh, 6.55, so it's not the greatest, um, but he's only been on the bench and that, so yeah, well, hopefully he can do some damage. Um, got a couple of good signings, but yeah. But until then, guys, this is the formation we're going to be using. Um, as you can see here, it's just basic. Pretty much everything is what I use in my other save. You've been following me on my other save, and it seems to be working out for me on the other save. So hopefully, we can get a little bit of damage in that. Do some stuff. Hopefully, achieve a decent amount in that. And we want to change him to pressing forward on attack. And yeah, so training wise, he's training as a pressing forward, complete forward. So we change that to pressing forward and hit that on to attack. So it will get a little bit of his aggression and mentals and that up. So hopefully it will be right. And we change him to, yeah, we don't need to do anything else there. But yeah, okay, guys. Um, First game of the season, we take a look at it. We're going against Cova da Pedra. I'm very English, I have no idea how to say half these names. We're just going to call him Cova. It's our first game of the season, and uh, hopefully, we can do some decent damage in that and get things forward. So, we do go through the match preview. Looks like we are not the favorites of this, and uh, hopefully, we can prove them wrong in this game, but uh, we'll take a look and see how it goes. So this first game up for the season, uh, hopefully we can pull off an upset here, but if not, uh, hopefully a draw would be a decent thing to go for. So guys, if like I said again, if you haven't seen the other series, the other episodes, I would strongly advise that you go and check them out and you can see how we've done how we've got through everything and how the guys are done and all that. So yeah, it'll be quite cool to see everything going forward from there. 
We've got attacking corner, a uh, throw in there. Sitlo with the ball. He crosses it to Hernandez. Hernandez puts it in. Pires with a shot, and it's our first shot, and it's on target with a nice header there. Kova de P has got the ball. They're attacking forward. I'm not even going to try and say most of their names. So won't be able to. It's all Portuguese names. Pana is a superb player, which I had in 2018, and he did some good stuff for me in that game so hopefully he doesn't do anything for them now and mess up for us but yeah they come with the cross and they're going to get it through it goes back up to Panna, Panna passes into and it goes wide and that's a corner attacking corner for Kova Day we get the ball off and it looks like it's a free kick to us so at least it's not too bad going to tell the guys to Get a bit of creative. We're on the attack. Heverton with the ball. Heverton crosses it wide to Pires. Pires with another shot, and that's two on target for us. We seem to be a little bit more positive than the rest of the teams, the rest of the guys, so hopefully we can do a little bit of damage on that, get some stuff going forward. Key with the ball to Pichanto, our captain for the day. And uh, yeah, nothing came of that. So it's three shots. Um, just going to pause it there and we're going to change this to match stats. So we can see match stats as we go. So it's four shots, three on target, one off target, clear cut chances, one clear cut chance. So yeah, not so great. Heverton with his first yellow card. The guys are looking composed, complacent. Average ratings is not too bad. Uh, we Pretty much even on average rating. Tell the guys to go a little bit more direct passing. Free kick against us. They go for the shot and it hits the bar and goes out. <coughs> Tell them to get a bit more creative again. Give them a little bit of a morale boost. Beal, Beal with a shot and he hooks it over the crossbar. Key with a free kick, puts it in. Oh, what a shot. Pushes the keeper down far to his lower right, left hand side. But unfortunately, the ball goes out wide. So, guys, uh, check out uh, the FM Discord group, Absolute FM Discord group, and uh, you can catch latest and all the games and what we talk about and chat about is not only FM 19, but it's just general stuff in as we go through. Um, there's some good content creators in that there. And they also have a show which they've just released. So check out the Absolute FM show. And um, they have a clear cut shot here. What's going to happen? Oh, what a save. Raphael to the save one on one. That should have been a goal. corner there Pedro with it and hooks it wide and it goes over the crossbar oh, out wide for a goal kick so it looks like I'm going to have to change my def corner defensive tactics because uh, we got uh, a bit overwhelmed there um, but uh, half time nearly well call it 7 minutes of till half time but we seem to be doing ok so far but yeah like I was saying Check out the Absolute FM Discord and um, you'll catch up with the likes of the guys that are doing the Hot Seat Save if you're interested. And if you want, you can join in in the Hot Seat Save if you want to join. All there will be links in the description. Um, you can check it out and see how everything's going. Rosa with the free kick pulls it up over the crossbar. So we've had seven shots, three on target, which is not the best. Um, and tell the guys I want to demand more from them. Hopefully that will inspire them just a slight bit. And a little bit force feedback. 
okay with the shot and it goes higher and over. They play short, cleaning it out. Cover with board, Chicho with a shot and he puts it in the back of the net. That should have been an easy save that one. After such a superb save just now and now he puts, he just fumbles it and goes into the back of the net. See if whatever he did, uh, yeah he just went a little bit wider than the keeper. He still could have put an effort in there. Well we dropped down to 17th, we won goal down, so I'm going to tell the guys I'm not happy, not impressed. So it's Okay guys, let's see what we can do with the second half. Hopefully we can pull two back and get into the lead. couple of guys motivated but nothing too serious it's yeah our shots on target have been terrible they've had two shots and they got one goal so far from seven two shots on target so yeah it's 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 not the best it's not the best performance at all um i think what i'm going to do now i'm going to make an early sub kiko is getting a bit low put in tellers <coughs> hopefully tellers can do something for us pull something out of a hat for us Well, at least we've moved up to 16th now, but yeah, changes. Heverton with the ball, pass, Tellers, Tellers first touch in the live com, Picancho with the cross, and up, oh, Key with a horrible shot there, and uh, nothing came of that. Let's see, there's nobody marking on the inside, and yes, at least it gets taken out, and it's a bit of a save there. Uh, let's look at maybe subbing somebody else here. Yeah. Who's really low? Hernandez is really low, so we're going to put Akiem in. And uh, Gabriel's motivated. And dip, 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 dip. Yeah, I think for now we'll just leave it at those two. And we'll hopefully, hopefully we can get a goal back. Okay, we're on the ball again, and we've got the ball. Gabriel with the ball. Puts it into Tellez. Tellez with a shot. Oh, and what a save by Amaros. At least we get the corner now. Key with the corner. What can we get? pull out of this corner? Uh, nothing much. Heverton has it. Puts it up, and it's kicked back. Deal. Chico, Chico with the shot, is he going to take the shot, and it's a good save again. Pedro with the corner, puts it in, nicely cleared out. Rosso, back to Pedro, Pedro fumbles and loses out on the ball. And we're not doing so great, this has not been the best. Uh, free kick and it almost went into the back of the net there. Tell the guys I expect a lot more out of them. <coughs> I think what we're going to do is uh, ego out and we're going to put LaRue in, uh, well Rex in and see how that goes. Maybe the defense will be a little bit better. But yeah, goal came from a set piece, which was unfortunate. We guess we've lost this game, guys. So I'm terribly sorry about that. Uh, there's nothing that we can do. First life come would have been nice to have a, a victory, or even a draw at least. Uh, but it definitely looks like we've botch this one up. <coughs> Can we get the ball back and maybe do something? They're just holding the ball, trying to kill time. 
Lille with it, passes it up to Santos with the ball now. Santos goes for the shot and they get a second. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing we can do now. It was purely poor defense. Uh, yeah, our defensive line has been terrible. It's the story of my life in all FM games is my defense. I can never seem to get the defense right. Pires with the ball now. <coughs> Crosses it in. And it just goes over the bar. Just the finishing is absolutely terrible. I just can't seem to finish anything. 16 shots, 7 on target. And it's pretty much the end of the game. Should be a final whistle now. Banner has the ball back to Santos. They're just playing a little bit 1 2 1 2 just to waste time. They might get a third year. And what's going to happen? I don't know why the ref hasn't blown. He should have blown a whistle by now. Injury time on top of injury time. Penner on the ball. Buri. And there we go. There you have it, guys. And uh, yeah, with these kind of stats, we should have been more in control of the game. But it's just one of those hap things that happened. 63% passing position. Uh, it's 45% out to their 55. So it's not that great. Um, tackles one, we got only 93% they got 100% tackles one which is a lot better that's probably why they did a lot better 16 shots uh, clear cut chances only one they had three so yeah it's just one of those things guys but yeah we're gonna go to the dressing room we're gonna tell them calmly I'm far from pleased from that result and yeah <coughs> Well, there you have it, guys. That was our first episode. Um, take a look at the schedule. Uh, we got a cut, quite a few games coming up um, in this 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 month, um, August. So it's what four games in August, then another three games in September, two games in October, and then three games in November, December, four games. February four games, so it's pretty much just four, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, right the way through. So I'll try and bring you guys uh, a couple of games here and there, and uh, decide we'll see where we are in the league and how things are going, and uh, we'll bring you games and fixtures just from there. But until then, guys, thanks very much for watching, and hopefully we can bring you guys a few wins and victories in that over this few games that are a year away and the next live come let's hope we can get a victory for everyone to check it out but until then thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the other game the other saves if you haven't but uh, see you guys again soon cheers for now